Hi crafters, it's Hannah here from handcraftedcards.com Welcome to my channel today This is the card that I'm going to be showing you how to make I'm going to show you how I put it all together and I'm going to be showing you through this card how to make a card without actual stamping so there's no stamping on this card um, so yeah, I hope that you like it if you're new then consider subscribing because I do post videos every single Monday, Wednesday and Saturday so I wouldn't want you to miss a tutorial so let's get started okie dokie so for today's card we're not actually going to do any stamping we're just going to use punches and ink so let me just grab my phone um, yeah punches and ink I'm still here to make our card so I thought oh, I can't find my phone sorry guys um, oh it's right there I thought that would be quite interesting to do today um, sort of show that we can um, make a card without stamping because obviously particularly if you're just starting out you're not going to have all of the stampers all of the stampers all of the stamps um, that you might want but you might have some other products so I thought this would be just a good way to sort of see what we can do without stamps right so if that made any sense um, so I've got a very vanilla card base which is a lovely colour already and I'm just going to do a very little bit of inking through a mask this is one of Stampin' Up's mask it's the heart and stars one so I'm just going to put that down about there actually you know what should I stamp all over it onto the back as well I think that might look nice so obviously more on the front but yeah we'll see how that looks do you want to get my heart straight is the one thing okay I think that's as straight as I'm going to get it so I'm just using um, pink pirouette ink and I'm just very gently inking through well that's dirty <laughs> oh well let's go with it the mask is dirty not the <laughs> not the sponge because it's a new sponge oh well it'll add some colour top tip wash your masks <laughs> because none of the pink is coming through but you know what I actually quite like that colour that has come up so I don't know what I, can, I can't actually remember the last time I used this mask so goodness knows what how long this has been dirty for oh there we go we've got a bit of the pink at the top <laughs> oh dear so I'm not trying to get every heart either I'm just kind of going over some of them. See if some are half inked, then that's cool too. And then just put it on the back. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, that's actually really nice. Huh, I don't even know what colour that is to tell you. It's got to be a blue. Wow awesome and while we've got the mask out I'm going to do the envelope as well so we don't have a naked envelope so can you see yeah just down in the right hand corner oh that's pretty and this is going to go in the wash <laughs> oh dear okay so that is our base that we are starting with which I think is quite pretty already so punches I've got quite a few here just move that to the side I've got 
a decorative label punch, a circle punch. Not to say I'm going to use these all, but these are the ones that I pulled out. Larry, um, the <laughs> probably would have been a good idea if I knew what they were called too. That is, it's a banner punch, and it is called. <laughs> Duet Banner Punch <laughs> Decorative Label Two Inch Circle Decorative uh, Duo Banner Duet 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 Banner My goodness Bunch of Blossoms I've got out I've got the um, Blossom Builder The Pansy Punch And Petite Petals Punch So I don't know out of these ones, I'm not 100% which ones I'm going to use yet, but I just thought I'd get them all out and show you. So those are the punches. To start off with, the first one I'm going to use, that's the doorbell. I think somebody will get that. Um, is the banner punch. Yeah, somebody's getting it. Uh, and again this is just very vanilla cardstock so we've got three there I actually think that might be a delivery for me <laughs> it is as well <laughs> it's the UPS man yay <laughs> so um, yeah that's completely throwing me that was banner <laughs> duet Duet, no, triple, oh my word, blossom bunch, punch, something or other, yeah, wow. So I've punched that, I'm going to ink the edges with uh, pink pirouette as well. So these three will build up together. glue dots and I'll just stick those together right now so this little one will go on top of here and then this will go on top of the big one Cool, cool, cool. So that's going to be one flower. And then another one, I'm going to use the um, Pansy Punch. And again, just very vanilla. I'm going to ink this one with Rose Red. It's going to be a bit darker. So put it down and swirl onto it as well if you prefer, just to blend that ink. It's a pretty flower, I do like that one. There we go. And then the Petite Petals Punch. And again with Rose Red. I'm kind of going a bit heavy handed with the inking. So I want it quite well inked. And again, glue dot on the back of this one. And that's going to go onto our pansy. And I'm going to use that same pansy punch 
for some leaves. So if you cut, punch one of those out, you can turn two of them to the petals into leaves. Or one of them into leaves. So if that goes at the back there or there, kind of looks like a leaf popping out. And then one that side, yeah. So that's going to be that one. That's that one. And I think I actually want a little, well, be a couple ones that are just very vanilla. Okay. And those I will, where's my little squidgy thing gone? I grab my pierce mat. Actually, you can do this with all of them. Just use the back of your pokey tool and press down just to give it a bit of dimension. Cool. And then I've got a piece of pink pruette cardstock and I'm going to cut that out with the two inch circle punch. So all of the punches that I do end up using, or they will be listed in the description of this video. So if you just click show more, there'll be a list of everything that I use. And it, that does actually have links over to my online shop. So if you want any of the these punches, then just give um, give the name of it a click and it'll take you over to my online shop. So if you want to shop with me, that would be awesome because when you do it means I can keep making videos which I love so just using the fine tip glue pen to glue this lace doily which is in the spring summer catalogue onto a circle of pink pirouette I'm actually going to do it this way so lined up <coughs> perfect oh, and I've picked up some ink over the paper no worries so that just adds a little bit of colour to our circle uh, let's put the lid back on that <coughs> and I do want whoop, a banner with this one, a label even. So I'm going to start putting it kind of together and I'll see if I need any more bits. So that's going to go down first, then the label, and then our flowers. Like something. Like that. And I'll stick some of the leaves in. Oh. So it's going to go something like that. Maybe another leaf down. Something like that. So I don't think. I'm going to use this punch, the um, banner one, I don't think it needs it, I think I'm going to start sticking this down now, so if I just do that, I can kind of remember where everything went, I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this one, I only need three, Gonna go there. 
Then this is going to need a dimension of just on the corner. And then I can put a bit of snail on the other end. Because that's, whoa, just dropped my... Oh, I'll get it after. Um, it's going to sit on top of there. So if I just put a smidge of snail, that's all it's going to need, really. That's going to go... Right there. Okay. Then, I think if I go with this flower, I might actually stick this to the back of there. I'll just tuck it in afterwards. Hmm. You talk to yourself when you're crafting as well, as I do a lot. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. And there's a glue dot on the back of this guy. And then on the back of these ones as well. I'm going to pop this one a little bit under that banner there. Okay, and lastly, some of these leaves can just tuck in. Probably would be easy to use wet glue for this, but I've just dropped it on the floor, so at the back of my desk. That's it. Do I need another one? No, I don't think I do. So then just some pearls. Well, that was my film. on these flowers mm. there any more for any more I might put some smaller ones on as well Let me just grab There we go. So that is our card for today. So as you can see, I've done no stamping on it. I mean, you could add a sentiment if you wanted to. But for this one, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I really like how that has turned out. So have a play with your punches and see what card you can make using just your punches. And if you do make one, I would really love to see it. So you can either tag me on Instagram or um, post it on my Facebook page. So yeah, that's my challenge for you, <laughs> to make a card with just your punches and a bit of ink. 
so yeah I hope you like this video um, and if you do share it with your friends that would be awesome and if you're new then subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos um, yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye